Welcome back to the Five on Five. The guest is Vince Porter, Executive Director of Governor's Office in Film and Television. We've been talking about uh, Grimm and some of the exciting projects that uh, here in Oregon. Um, car commercials also, yeah. it's a big in our state. Tell us about that. Well, it's surprising. I mean, of the total of $130 million of production last year, $20 million of that was spent on commercials. And one of the great sweet spots for Oregon is, is car commercials. Believe it or not, it's not that hard to, d to connect the dots that we have so many beautiful roads all over the state. I know last year there was a Mercedes commercial shot out on Gold Beach and um, others all over. And they come and they drop and they put a whole bunch of cash in a small community in a very short period of time. Also, you were mentioning a animation studio. Right. That, uh, you know, animation is, is a really, uh, they talk about under the radar. Um, animation has long standing been a huge thing for Oregon. And Leica Studios, um, run by Travis Knight, Phil Knight's son, um, they have one Academy Award nomination under their belt with Coraline that was released in 2009. And this summer is their follow-up called Paranorman. Uh, due, in, due out in theaters in August, and I'm really excited. I hear it's even better than Coraline. As a future, do you think, uh, as far as Oregon goes in the film industry, do you think it's there's room for growth and being an important player? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of what are um, for traditional film and television that still heavily um, requires us to have film incentives that will allow us to be in the conversation. But even in a broader sense, the overall creative community throughout the entire state is growing and their reputation is growing and I see nothing but positive growth in the future. You mentioned incentives. Talk a little about the, the tax credits, the possibility. Sure. Well, um, you know, one thing that's probably relevant to some of your viewers is our film incentives are actually financed by a tax credit that's made available to all residents in Oregon and um, this July 9th there will be an auction for the tax credit and you would have an opportunity to contribute to our fund and get a state uh, tax credit and if you want information about this it's available on our blog OregonConfluence.com. OregonConfluence.com. Right. It's on the screen here so everyone thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. All right that's it for the five on five more news right after the break.